women nowadays don't want to stay with the men they having babies by. They'll have them babies by men all day, you know, and laugh with the guy and act like they're going to be with that guy forever. They're not paying close attention to the guys they they having babies by. And half of the, half of the problem is, is them, you know, that they seem to be, they everybody, they can go for men and women. But a lot of times they act, you know, really different in the beginning when they don't know you that well, when they see their assumptions are bigger than their facts. So a lot of times they think you got more money than what you do. They think you got more women than what you do. You know what I'm saying? They think you're perfect. They think you boo-boo gold chips, you know, or they think you boo-boo diamonds. So they think they're not really, they overlooking flaws and stuff, but then when they really get used to you and the newness wear down, all of a sudden it's a problem when they see the humanity in you, when they see you cry when your mother passed. And you would think they would enjoy your realness and your humanity, but they're looking at all this as, as signs of weakness. They want, they need, what they really need is Jesus Christ because that's what they want men to be. They want men to be gods. They want us to walk on water. <clears throat> they want us to walk on water and everything. You know, that's what they want. They want men to be gods. They, that's what they want men to be. They want men to be perfect, as if they perfect. So when they find out the man not perfect, they leave them. They cause problems. You know the first thing they do is stop having, stop having sex with you. That's going to cause a major problem in any relationship with the opposite sex. So once they do that, that that's going to cause other problems. That's going to make you start looking elsewhere to get some, get some cheeks. You're going to look elsewhere. They're going to know you're looking elsewhere because they're going to know you're not, they're not giving you none. So if they're not giving you none, you know, if they're not giving you none, they know you're going to look elsewhere and then they're going to look in your phone. They're going to look in your, um, they're going to be looking for a reason. Why are they looking for a reason if they're doing everything they supposed to do. Why are they looking for a reason to find you cheating? Why do they think you cheating? <clears throat> if they know they make if they know you they making you happy, they should just be enjoying the happiness of the relationship. It's no reason to look for anything else. There's no reason to look for problems when everything is going good. If a problem occur in the future, let it, you deal with it when it happened. Why did you choose a person that you feel like you can't trust? They're choosing men that they feel like they can't trust and having babies by them. And a lot of babies by them in their younger years. And expect a guy of quality and of value and a man of God to come in. What they call it now? They call it, uh, they call it Russell Wilson. They call it, I want my Russell Wilson. They used to say Boaz, but Ro um, Russell Wilson is the new Boaz term. A man that can take a woman, they got kids and a history with multiple men, and um, a history with multiple men, and, and take her in, and don't even worry about the past. That's what they want. You know that's what they want. Listen carefully to this part. They want a man that's gonna tolerate their whole past, no matter what they've done. And they still bring it up. The only thing they got to do is bring that old leftover yam yam to him. You know, that's all they got. They want him to accept their used up yam yam, as well as all that baggage. And I forget all the demons that they had with all them other guys. You know, the demons transfer. Most of the guys, 
Most of us guys get our demons from them. They collect, they're the demon collectors. Same way they absorb our sperm. They absorb energy and demons. Like women are conductors. Women are, they, they, they conductors, they absorb. They absorb everything. Eggs, semen, telegony. We love women. But the devil has infiltrated and uh, caused them, it's caused that problem, you know. We got to keep praying and we got to just do our part. And hopefully the family structure and everything can snap back. But right now, the devil is throwing some uppercuts and he's working through women. And he's working through women, insecure people, jealous people, hatred people. Anybody with strong negative emotions for another human, <coughs> human being, that's the type of atmosphere that the devil can thrive in. None of us are perfect. We all make mistakes and make bad judgments, but those individuals that have good hearts and that are praying to God and, and, and have a mind of God and have a, you know, and seeking God and talking to him and seeing God moving in a situation, those are the people who connected to God because they're actually interacting with him. They're talking to him, they're praying. But when you ain't got God in you, these emotions are gonna override. Then you're gonna overreact. To everything you're gonna give people too much credit like women do when they first meet a man they give you everything in the beginning then as they get to know you better and there's not nothing wrong with you but they just start to see the humanity part of you they start to see your flaws nothing big but just human flaws and it's a problem I oh I just don't think it's not you it's me it's always an excuse to hop on to the next ham bone I'm Alan Reagan here. I'd like to thank all you guys for making your weekly donations to me. I appreciate that a lot. Allow me to have the time to keep making videos for you guys. So I appreciate the, the support in the, for, for the channel. Um, much needed. I appreciate you for downloading my latest single, Pookie and Ray Ray Reagan and Anthem. Everything is in the description box. So check out all the links in the description box. I got the t-shirts. We got the Reaganair t-shirts going. So get your Reaganair t-shirts and we're going to rock this Reaganair nation out this summer. Um, if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, you want my opinion on something that's going on in your life, a relationship, your health, family, anything, um, hit me up on the Instagram. All y'all that's watching this video, follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description box. So follow me. My email is in there. Also, if you want to, you know, talk, you want to reach me on there, but it's better to, um, easier to reach me on, um, Instagram. If I don't reply to you on Instagram then uh, email me. But Instagram, message me if you want a one-on-one -on -one consult. Um, I, I got a lot of traffic coming in. Um, so um, so just first come, first serve. Um, but I love y'all, man. Uh, hit me up in the comment section. Let's talk about this. Press like and subscribe. And um, press like and subscribe. And um, put Jesus first. Much love to you. I talk to you later on. And um Reading that Nation, we out. And we gotta watch out, stay prayed up, tell somebody about God. Hey, work out, drink your water, get your sleep, laugh a lot, listen to a lot of music, listen to your best music, your best artists you like, whoever make you feel good. But uh try to listen to something spiritual too, Jesus based. Hey, I'll talk to y'all soon, man. Alan Reading there. I'm out. Check out the description box, look at all the details, hit all the links.